Hello viewers, welcome to Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I will be discussing about the matrix inversion method. And this is going to be my second video related to the matrix inversion method. And I am adding this example too because I have got a comment. And in that comment, I was asked to solve a system of equation by in matrix inversion method. Uh, which includes negative sign because in example one there was a system of linear equations which had positive signs only but here i have selected a question where there are some negative signs so guys uh, if you haven't watched my first video then do watch it and do watch this second video also because these two video are going to intensify your uh, concept related to the matrix inversion method guys and without any further delay Let's get started. So guys, let's begin the solution, writing the solution. So after writing the solution, what we need to do is let us write this system of equation there are three system three equations and these together are called the system of equations and uh, let us write it the given system of equation in the matrix form so write it down here writing the equations equations in matrix form How we can write it in matrix form let us see here first we will separate the coefficient from each and every uh, variables so the coefficient of x here is 1 again here 1 coefficient of z is also 1 in first equation similarly the coefficient of x in second equation is 1 minus 1 and 2 3 5 and minus 7 3 5 and minus 7 now write all the variables in a single column put equals to sign and write down these terms making a column 8 6 and 14 now guys if i talk about the concept of matrix inversion it says that a x equals to b here a represents this coefficient matrix x represents these variables and b represents this column now guys here if we are asked to calculate the value of x then x will be equals to a inverse b here a is brought this side so it will be b by a and if i write uh, a, a along with the b then a will have the negative power here what i said x equals to b by a and if a is brought with b a is brought with b then the power will be minus one i hope you know these things now what we need to do is we have to calculate the inverse of a and uh, for calculating the inverse of a first of all we need to find the determinant of a and uh, if our determinant is equal to zero means its inverse does not exist so let us first find the determinant of the matrix a uh, and check whether it is equal to zero or not so uh, if I calculate the inverse of matrix uh, sorry determinant of matrix A then determinant is written by this form so determinant of matrix A and matrix A is 1 1 3 1 minus 1 5 1 2 minus 7 and if I calculate its determinant then let us calculate the determinant using the first row first row then if i select this one then cover this and this 
then remaining is minus 1 5 2 and minus 7 write it here minus 1 5 2 and minus 7 similarly if I talk about the sign uh, of the matrices then what is here let me show you let me show you here the sign of the mat element of the matrices is of the form positive negative positive negative positive negative and positive 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 so here the second element means a 1 2 is going to be negative so put negative 1 and the elements will be just simply cover this and cover this and this then the remaining member items are 1 3 2 and minus 7 so 1 3 2 and minus 7 put positive sign this positive sign so cover this and this then we have 1 3 minus 1 5 1 3 minus 1 and 5 now solve this we will have here 7 minus 10 what we do downward positive upward negative so downward positive means 7 times 1 will be 7 and minus times minus will become positive 7 and 5 times 2 will be 10 but moving upward sign will be changed so minus 10 now put this minus 1 here minus 7 times 1 will be 7 and plus minus will be minus 7 again 3 times 2 will be 6 and moving upward sign change positive will be written as negative negative will be written as positive actually it is multiplied with negative sign so positive 5 times 1 will be 5 and 3 times 1 will be 3 and here minus times plus will be equals to minus but on moving upward sign is changed so it will be positive now solve this we will get minus 3 plus 13 plus 8 and here it will be equals to 18 which is not equals to 0 means the inverse of the matrix a exists now what we need to do is we need to find the cofactor of the matrix A. For that, let us see how to find the cofactor of the matrix. Now, see here, guys, how to find the cofactor of the matrix A. S suppose we are, uh, we need to, we are finding the cofactor of matrix of the element A11. This element is our A11. This is A12. This is A13. Similarly, this is A21, A22. A23, A31, A32, A33. This is actually the numbering of the element of the matrices. So, if I select uh, find the cofactor of this matrix uh, of this element 1, A11, then what we need to do is simply cover this and cover this and uh, write down all the elements which are visible to you. you the number which are visible to you are minus 1 2 5 and minus 7 so write it here minus 1 2 5 and minus 7 similarly here the sign convention which i have shown you is positive so write put it here positive sign for a21 this element is our a21 sorry a 1 2 first row second column a 1 2 so the element of, of the first row second column carries negative sign so put here negative sign and cover the all the row and column which includes this element so on doing so we will have here let me show you here on doing so what we will have here the element which, are visible, which will be visible are 1 3 2 and minus 7 write it here 1 3 2 and minus 7 so now if we talk about the element 1 3 a 1 3 
first draw third column then cover this and this the element which will be visible to you are 1 3 minus 1 and 5 1 3 minus uh, 1 3 minus 1 and 5 so here we need to write 1 3 minus 1 and 5 the sign which it carries is positive positive now move here move to the element of a 2 1 means second row first column this one so what we need to do is we need to cover all the row and column which carries which consist of this element so the number which are visible to, element which are visible to us are 1 1 5 and minus 7 and the sign which it carries is negative so put negative sign then bracket and the element are 1 1 5 and minus 7 so 1 1 5 and minus 7 now put positive sign and write on the element this time the element which will be visible visible are 1 1 3 and minus 7 let me show you the element which are visible are 1 1 3 and minus 7 so write it here 1 1 3 and minus 7 now again put negative sign and write down the elements and cover this 2 and this then we will have here 1 1 3 and 5 1 1 3 and 5 now time for the element of the third row so if I consider this a 3 1 means third row first column then cover this and this then the number elements which are visible are will be 1 minus 1 1 2 so and the sign is positive here positive sign and this is negative here so we will have here 1 minus 1 1 2 again put negative sign element of the third row second column means cover this 5 and the element visible will be 1 1 1 2 1 1 1 2 put positive sign and write down the elements the element which will be visible is 1 1 1 and minus 1 now guys time to find the cofactor of the matrices then how we need to find the cofactor take downward positive upward negative so uh, 1 times 7 will be equals to 7 and minus minus will become plus so uh, 7 minus 10 here we will have minus uh, minus 7 minus 6 and here we will have 5 plus 5 plus 3 5 and 3 times 1 will become 3 and minus times minus will become positive 3 again put negative sign uh, 7 minus minus 7 and minus 5 similarly here we will have positive sign and minus 7 minus 3 here we will have minus sign and 5 times 1 will be 5 and 3 times 1 will be minus 3 because up part will be taken negative sign so again positive 2 times 1 will be equals to 2 and minus 1 times 1 will be equals to plus 1 similarly 2 times 1 will be equals to 2 and 1 times 1 will be minus 1 positive minus 1 times 1 will be minus 1 and 1 times 1 will be minus 1 now the final cofactor we have calculated is minus 3 positive 13 this will be minus 13 and multiplied with this minus it will get positive 13 8 and 12 minus 10 
माइनस टू थ्री माइनस वन माइनस टू नाउ टाइम टू कैलकुलेट द एड ज्वाइंट ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स सो एड ज्वाइंट ऑफ मैट्रिक्स विल बी ट्रांसपोज ऑफ द को फैक्टर ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स सो हाउ टू फाइंड द ट्रांसपोज ऑफ द को फैक्टर सिंपली कॉपी द डायग्नोल एलिमेंट माइनस थ्री माइनस टेन माइनस टू एंड इंटरचेंज दिस एलिमेंट दिस थर्टीन ब्रिंग हेयर थर्टीन एंड राइट इज टूवेल्व हेयर जिस इंटरचेंज द पोजिशन थ्री ब्रिंग हेयर एंड एट हेयर सो एट एंड थ्री इंटरचेंज दिज टू सो माइनस टू एंड माइनस वन नाउ आफ्टर दिस स्टेप वी नीड टू फाइंड द इनवर्स ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स नाउ गाइज वी हैव द फॉर्मूला फॉर फाइंडिंग द इनवर्स ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स दैट इज ए इनवर्स इक्वल्स टू वन बाय डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ ए टाइम्स एड जॉइंट ऑफ ए सो वी कैन राइट इट एज वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड द डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स एज एटीन एंड द एड जॉइंट ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स इज माइनस थ्री थर्टीन एट टूवेल्व टेन माइनस टू थ्री दिस इज माइनस टेन माइनस वन एंड माइनस टू नाउ इफ वी री राइट द इक्वेशन वेर वी हैव वी आर एक्स टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एक्स इक्वल्स टू ए इन वर्स टाइम्स बी नाउ पुट डाउन द वैल्यू ऑफ ए इन वर्स एंड द ए इन वर्स इक्वल्स टू वन बाय एटीन टाइम्स माइनस थ्री थर्टीन एट टूवेल्व माइनस टेन माइनस टू थ्री माइनस वन माइनस टू इज मल्टीप्लाइड विथ द एलिमेंट ऑफ बी एंड द एलिमेंट ऑफ बी आर एट सिक्स एंड फोर्टीन नाउ गाइज वाट वी नीड टू डू इज जस्ट री राइट द डिटर्मिनेंट एंड मल्टीप्लाई the element of this first row with the element of this column so minus 3 times 8 will be equals to minus 24 12 times 6 will be equals to positive 72 and 14 times 3 42 similarly 13 times 8 will be equals to 104 and minus 10 6 10 times 6 will be 60 Minus fourteen, eight eight times eight will be sixty four. Minus two times six will be equals to minus two. Well, minus two times fourteen will be equals to minus twenty eight. Now, add this, we will have one by eighteen times ninety, thirty, twenty four. Now divide these terms with eighteen. We will get the value of x equals to x y z equals to Five, five by three, and four by three. So, guys, this is the final answer, and we have solved this system of linear equation using the matrix inversion method. And I hope you enjoyed this second example on the matrix inversion method. Want to have more videos in the future? Then do subscribe to this channel, press the bell icon also, and do share this video with uh, your friends. And I have draw kept my email. uh in the description as well as in the about section of my channel you can have uh, access the email from there and if you have any kind of query or problem problem then do write me on the email uh, and we'll try my best possible way to reply to your queries in the short period of time and till then stay safe and take care of yourself see you in the next video bye bye